All right, so contrary to popular belief, when you are in boot camp, you don't take cold showers, okay? If there's hot water and warm water and there's cold water, it's, it's your choice, okay? Uh, but, you know, there was about four times in boot camp where the hot water system broke or something like that, so only cold water came. But, you know, that's all fun and memories. That's okay, like four. It's not like every single day. So for those of you who might be thinking, oh, I have to train for boot camp and, and take a cold shower every single day, uh, no, you don't really have to worry about that, okay? So when you are in boot camp, you're not provided champ like you know shampoo or body wash. Okay, you're just provided one thing. Uh, imagine this is it. You know this is not actually it. It's like a clear blue liquid. You can see through it, um, and that it's it's all right, right? But later on, when when your division goes to the NEX, the uh, Navy Exchange Store, you can purchase the shampoo and body wash and also loofah because you're not provided a loofah. Um, most people in boot camp, I noticed, use like a hand towel that they give you in boot camp when usually, you know, when you shave, you just use a hand towel, just wash up, but they use that as a loofah, which it's all right, but loofah will be better ideally. <clears throat> but anyway, when you are in boot camp, okay, uh, when I was in the room, the compartment that I was in at least had two areas to shower, okay? The main shower area and all the way to the opposite, there was a small area to shower. In the main area, there was about 16 of these shower heads and then a small one, uh, it had about half, so right about eight. So imagine about 24 shower heads and you're given 15 minutes to shower. So undress, shower, uh, wipe yourself down, dress back up to the uniform of the day. So you have 15 minutes to do that. So it's, you might be thinking that's a lot of time, but actually it's not a lot of time. Uh, so you have to be in and out. It's like the assembly line. Because when you're, when you're taking a shower, it's about, your division might have about 70 guys, at least in the beginning of boot camp, 70, 60, and it starts to shrink down as boot camp starts to progress and people start to drop out for medical reasons or you know they can't pass their, PRT or whatever the reason might be, <clears throat> but you know, it's still a lot of people with only about 16 or 24 of these shower heads within a short amount of time. So you have to be in and out um, pretty quick, okay? So taking showers in boot camp, you don't have to really worry about it. Now, when I was in boot camp, okay, you might be thinking, do guys kind of you know, check each other out? <coughs> there were some individuals that were pretty shady, like, in, in like the first week of boot camp, like, you know, I went in and, you know, my division was in there and one guy was like, dude, you have such a big... <clears throat> so, like, some guys check each other out, whatever, you know, they can have their own thing within a non-homophobic, um, no, non-homophobic way, which is fine, whatever. Um, so some guys do check each other out, all right, just, just letting you know, okay? But most guys, that, from my experience, just kind of keep it to themselves, all right? <laughs> so thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great shower.